Hey y'all, welcome back, and here is part two of the 1996 Galoob Micro Machines Royal Guard um, Death Star playset. Now, this isn't the first Death Star from A New Hope. This is the second Death Star from Return of the Jedi. Um, and uh, I had this piece as a kid, and uh, here it is unboxed and assembled. So, uh... We'll take a look at some of the action features. So, uh, this is the famous reactor feature. Um, let's see if it works still. Um, oh, there it is. Oh, well, you missed it. Whoops. Hold on one second, guys. Here we go. Um, sorry about that. I completely missed it. There we go. There's the reactor feature. I have not <laughs> pressed all the features on this toy since I had it as a kid, and that was nearly 20 years ago. Yeah, 1996, 19 years ago. So, yeah, we'll just say 20 years. Um, I've not touched one of these in 20 years. Um... But yeah, that was one of the cool features. It's just very interesting looking at this and looking at them with all with everything here. Uh, this is one of the Imperial Commanders, um, which you could kind of put anywhere in this playset. We'll just I'll put them over to the side. Um, we'll go up here, and uh, you could set up the famous duel between Luke and Darth. Um, so this is one of the cool features. I'll take Luke and Darth down. But you could have the Emperor look towards the space battle and then you could pull this back and he's facing and he'll watch the duel and back here there's a dial. Um, I'm trying to see how you turn it. Oh yes, it's on the outside. Um, see, I could turn this and you could see as one of the back panels you, you could see different parts of this space fight happen and then it comes with two royal guards and uh, here's the infamous imperial shuttle I broke this part when I was little um, like I said micro machines were awesome toys that I had as a kid especially Star Wars which I mostly had um, because they didn't have all the play sets uh, like they did for the toys in the 80s, um, which I have now, uh, but uh, I had to go for the Micro Machines. But uh, I wanted to get this again um, because, well, they never, I, I don't, they never made a Death Star um, 2 for Return of the Jedi toys back in the 80s, and I have all the Return of the Jedi figures from the 80s. Um, they only made a Death Star for the original Star Wars film in the 70s, but it looks nothing like the second Death Star. But there is a rumor that I've heard from collectors and, and people who used to work for the company Kenner, um, which did not make this, which made the original Star Wars toys. And they were going to make a Death Star too, and it was completely scrapped. But uh, this one does the justice. Um, got this cool shuttle feature. Um, you got this platform, which has a cool decal on it, as you can see. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, this is this is it, pretty much. And I grabbed this because I said this would look cool near my vintage Return of the Jedi toys. And it's small. It doesn't take up space. I think I only paid about 28 bucks, and that was with shipping as well, on eBay. And that's how much you usually pay. You'll, you'll pay, I think between twenty five and forty dollars for this on eBay and it is definitely worth it uh, since Galoob is no longer around and uh, you know they would not make a toy like this today um, but yeah but another thing I wanted to show you guys before I ended the video since uh, down the road I was gonna get a um, vintage collection Royal Guard, but I don't need to now because this comes with the Royal Guard. So I thought as a cool retrospective, I'll f show you an original Royal Guard from 1983, and we'll, uh, we'll go get that.
here it is, an original 1983 Royal Guard, and you can kind of see how times, well, it's now 20 years, but you can see how back in the 90s they really downsized it for this and did this. Everything is molded. This is a cloth cape, which was kind of a big deal for toys back then, especially in this era. Uh, but, uh, yeah, and here's his uh, force pike that he has and uh yeah really cool um but yeah so uh this is it this is the 1996 uh royal guard playset death star 2 uh from galoob micro machines so i would pick it up it's really cool it's very inexpensive um and you get a lot for your dollar um now, a little bit of history. I was going to get a Death Star uh, Micro Collections play set, but there's just not a lot to it. So um, you'll see some more videos on more Micro Machine pieces because I am going to get the original Death Star one, um, which has a Stormtrooper head. And then they make a lightsaber one, which is the trench that Luke blows up in A New Hope. So both like $20 each and... You're only spending 40 bucks, and with the micro collection, you're spending 100 bucks for pretty much nothing, or actually 100 bucks each for pretty much nothing. Sometimes 200 because it's vintage Star Wars. So, but I just think this is so much better because you know what? It's almost in the vintage era. So, well, stay tuned for those videos um, down the road. But I uh, just wanted to show you this, and it fully assembled. So, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, thank you for watching.